Hello everyone, welcome back. In this beginner series tutorial, we are gonna model this headphone. Also, I will talk a little bit about texturing and UVs. So if you are a beginner, this tutorial will be a perfect starting point for you to understand subdivision surface techniques in both Cinema 4D and in any other 3D softwares. You can find image planes in the description. I will also playlist for beginner series. So if you want to watch the other beginner series, you can check the playlist in the description. So without further ado, let's start. First thing first, I will change my layout to model mode, which will give us a bigger 2D viewport. Then I will start to bring in my image planes. To do that, I will click middle mouse, go to front view, shift and V, back and select image plane. I'm going to select the front one some transparency then click middle mouse one more time this time go to the right view shift and me and select the other one the side one now let's try to read our target object it looks like the most dominant shapes will be these kind of disc shapes so it's gonna be a good move to start with a disc so let's add in a disc i'm gonna change its orientation to plus x and move it over here after that i will click here which will rotate the object or you can simply hit r on the keyboard rotate this like that then to get a better view i will go to the right view move it down by the way move shortcut is e r for rotation and t for scale it looks like we need to scale this just a bit like that. After that, I want to get you of the adverb plane. We are not going to need it. Then I will go to the display and change my display to our road shading lines. So we can see the edges of the object. Let's check the disk. The disk comes with 16 segments. It is not that high. And it's not that low which is great but usually i would like to work with something like 12. so the lower the resolution the easier the process will get for us to model now in order to select edges of that object i need to make it editable so you can either hit c on the keyboard or you can click over here now i can select edges i will hit e which will give me the move tool I can select these, hold down shift and select edges. So to extrude these edges, I will hold down control and move these up. Just like that. Let's go to the front view. I'm going to move these up over here. And I'm going to make these edges perfectly straight. To do that, let's go to the scale tool, scale the Y axis, then hold down shift, which will snap the percentage of the scale i'm gonna stop at zero then i will go back to the move tool hold down control and move these like that then i'm gonna move these edges right here now i want to round these edges out so select them again by holding shift right click select bevel Level them. Of course, we are going to need more resolution. Add one subdivision. Not three, just one will be enough. Then I will go into the points mode, go to the rectangle selection, go to the front view, and I'm going to select the points and move them. I'm going to position these as close as possible to the original shape. The reason that I have selected the rectangle selection is because this tool selects the points that you cannot see. Like you can see only one point, but when I select these, it's going to select all of these three points. Everything is looking great except that disk shape. Since we are going to work in subdivision surface technique, we need to get rid of triangles. To do that, first let's Literally melt these polygons, right click and select melt. Then I will go into points mode, 
so I can clearly see these points. And I'm going to right click and grab Polygon Pen tool. I'm going to click on these points, which will bridge these with a line or an edge. Then I'm going to I'm not going to do that again because it's going to give me a triangle. So instead, I'm going to connect these two guys. Now all the polygons will be quads. Perfect. Now it is time to get the symmetry generator. Click here and select symmetry and put the disk under that. As you can see, these two edges are not connected because positions are not quite right. So select this, go to the coordinates menu, make sure that you are in the world coordinates. And since these are facing X, I need to zero these out. So go to the X and hit zero and hit enter. Now they should match perfectly. Now it is time to give some thickness to the disk. To do that, let's go into polygon mode, select all of these, control A, or if you don't know the shortcuts, you can go to selection and say select all. Right click, text root. I will enable caps, otherwise I will get these empty caps. So enable that one. Let's extrude them like that. Again, we are going to have some problems where these guys meet. So let me undo that, select the symmetry and enable these options, which will basically delete anything where these objects meet. We just need to increase the tolerance, like something like, I don't know, 4 or 5. Then let's try to extrude this one more time and flush the center edges. No, it worked perfectly. If I close the symmetry, you can see that there is nothing right here. Then I see kind of a bevel right in the middle. So let's right click, select loop cuts, and I'm going to add this one right here. Now I will go into edge mode and I will hit E. Otherwise, we are still in loop cuts. Hit E. I'm going to double click on these edges, Alt and Shift, select all of these, right click, select, slide, let's check the right view, and I'm going to slide, slide them just like that. While we are in the right view, let's select these points, go into points mode, select rectangle selection, select all of these, and select scale tool scale this in just like that maybe i can move this down and scale them just a bit same for this point all right everything is looking great i believe it is time to add the subdivision surface generator add this one in and put the symmetry under that one let me go back to the curl rod shading, which will give us a clear view. Now, we want sharp edges. To do that, I will need supporting edges, aka loop cuts. Select the disk, right click, and select loop cuts. So, the first one, I'm gonna add this one over here, and this one here, and the third one will be right here. As you can see, it is looking great. We may get some sharp edges like this one. If you get this, go to the Fong tag and increase that Fong angle. Just like that. Now let's try to model the other parts. Instead of adding any object in, I will just split polygons from the existing geometry, which will save us a great deal of time. So let's go into Polygon mod. I am gonna turn off the subdivision surface, hit Q. I will select these polygons only, then right click and say split, which will create a new object. Now let's see, it looks like this is slightly larger, so I will go to the scale tool, scale this just a bit, not too much, then right click, extrude, make sure that you selected them all. 
and let's see we are gonna need something like that then i will make an inset let's see we don't have any information but i believe it's going to be something like that notice that if i extrude these polygons more than a point topology will break so in such cases i like to inset them just a bit then continue with scale tool with t so you can press here and scale this now i will preserve my disk shape perfectly over here no distortion at all then to extrude this you know i need to go to the move tool i will hold down control and move these guys in then let's see what's going to happen if i hit q or we can simply enable here of course we are going to need supporting edges especially over here to make this pipe tighter right click loop cut i'm going to add this one over here and maybe this one over here but other than that this is looking great there is a problem though you cannot see that object on the other side this is because we need a single object or a single group under a symmetry so let's add in and now put it under the symmetry and put these guys inside of that now now we should work perfectly now the other parts let's select the first one the first disk and go into polygon mode turn off side division surface i will hit e so i can select the polygons just like this uh, if you check this closely it looks like we lost the disk shape perfect disk shape so i want to hide this one for the moment disk one and i want to select this instead as you can see is this disk shape is perfectly preserved on this one i believe we lost the disk shape on this part because i extruded the polygons these ones outwards so these are kind of broken so i'm gonna select these right click split them again and move them over here i need to scale this in then again extrude i'm gonna extrude them just like that don't go all the way to the very end because i will do something else as you can see the shape is not very similar to this one it has some roundness so i'm gonna select these two only and move them over here maybe we can move that point as well with q of course look cuts especially over here and let's check the shape i'm gonna select these points hold down shift and move them just like that this is gonna lower the stress Okay, not bad. We can select rectangle selection and play with these points to get a perfect match with the image plane. All right, looking great. Let me unhide this one. I believe we are done with the modeling. Now let's talk about the UVs. A little bit so as long as you don't have specific information on the object like i'm talking about logos emblems such things you don't necessarily need to unwrap your objects all the time instead you can use materials projection types for example let's create a material for this part i'm gonna double click over here open up the material for the color i will select a texture i'm going to select this one 
and let's apply this to this object, not this one, but this one. It looks like the UV W mapping worked great for this one, for this object, but you have other projections as well, like flat and cubic and etc. Most of the time, flat, cubic, and UV W mapping works great. Also, you can scale these textures if you enable texture mode. This is the points mode, this is the edge mode, this is the polygon, and this is the model mode, which you can select the whole object. And the last one is the texture mode, which will enable you to scale any texture on any object. I believe UV W mapping works great, so I'm gonna keep that one. Then I will go back to my material, I will turn off the default specular and I will add the GGX. I'm gonna change the Brennell to electric. Some roughness and that's all. Of course this is just for the viewport view, not for rendering. Well, now let's make some simple materials. Open that up, color. Let's try to copy the color from the image planes. Let's go to the right view. I will hit Shift and V and get rid of the transparency. And I'm gonna click here and select that color. Apply this to the disk. As usual, I will turn off that one at the GGX, some Brennell, and let's give some roughness like 35. Let's drag this off, which will duplicate the material. This time, I'm gonna select color from the front view, go to color, and select this one, and apply. I believe for this one, we are gonna need more roughness, like 60%. Also, we can enable skin space and bit occlusion. So looking great. Now let's make something simple for the background. I'm gonna add in background. Create a new material, just double click on here. I will just need a luminance. For the texture, let's select gradient. And I'm gonna first invert the gradient. Actually, let's apply this. So let's make this one darker. Something like that. Maybe this one slightly lighter. And let's close this off. I'm gonna go to filter and select geometry only. And let's select pearl. Of course, we didn't get a full match with the image plane, but we can always go back since we have a low poly mesh. Go into points mode and play with these points. I will hit Q. Play with these points to get a better match. Then maybe this one. I can select all of these points and move them over here. All right, I believe this turned out really good. I believe this wasn't that much complicated. It's going to be perfect for beginners to understand the basics of subdivision surface modeling techniques. And I hope that you liked the tutorial. If you liked the tutorial, of course, remember to like the video. And I will see you in the next ones. If you have any questions, just ask them in the comments. I read them all and try to answer them all. So I will see you later.